welcome to my channel. I'm Matt. This is Max Mod, and today we have Spitfire Thursdays, everybody. So we have issue 70 of Build a Spitfire, and I heard this one is not the best issue to do. Um, it's very fiddly, lots and bits and pieces to do. So I'm gonna have to see how I get on with this one today. But hopefully it won't be too bad, and we can get it complete. Anyway. I think we definitely need to get started on this and see what we're up against. So with all that said, let's get modelling. Right, so we are going to be starting with these two pieces here. Now these are called the rudder trim tab and we have a left and we have a right hand side. But what it's wanting us to do is to glue these in place. So, I think the best thing to this one is just take, take your time with it, I would think. Don't try and rush it. I'm just getting some glue in my glue pot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dab of glue in this section, in these holes. It's that way I can control the glue a bit better. Okay, right, so now we've done that, we'll flip this bit over and we'll put these two pieces together. I'm just going to squeeze them nice and tight, just like so. Okay, so we need this part next. This is part of the rudder assembly. Now, I've had a look at this and people have said it's not the best and, and bits and pieces like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring over a helping hand. If I just move that out, I'm just gonna put the helping hand just there, just like so. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to deviate away from the instructions a little bit because we've got this tiny, tiny piece there to put on. And I think this will be a lot easier done off the aircraft rather than it moving around on the rudder. So a dab of glue and I'll make sure I get this the right way around. Right, I think that's correct. Right, here we go. So if you can't see this off camera. Right, I'm just having to hold it in place while the glue takes hold of it, which it's not doing. Right, I do have a backup plan, but the problem is The oil's right, okay, that's in place. Okay, right, so after we've done that, sorry, I was, I'm not too happy with that at all. I'm gonna bob do a bit more glue on there. I really am not happy with it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my tweezers and I'm gonna put it in by tweezers. That's a problem. I like things to be spot on perfect. Right, so, sorry if you can't see this, guys. Nearly there, yes, right, that's now in place. Okay, Whew. right, so I'm gonna move my helping hand back across, because this part that we've just built now is gonna go into there. And that's just gonna rest in there, just like that. Okay, so moving on. Next bit we need is this sort of 
tab bit here let's see what this says it is it says it's the aero aerial support okay no no it's not saying what that is it's just saying it's on a sprue so okay so this one is going to go down into this hole here now it does say when I have to glue it in place I did test it off camera so I know it's okay so I'm just gonna go in there with some glue right there is a way this goes in and it's sort of a shallower side there push that down to place just get my tweezers just to hold that in place while the glue is setting right okay we're getting somewhere with this one now the next part we need is this one now this is the aerial support and this is going over here and it does say when you're happy with the fit glue in place I did test it that's what I do in a lot of the prep for my videos I test fit things I work try and work things out work out how each part is gonna go on a model okay that's now glued in place now the next thing it's asking us to do is to do the hinges but I think I'm gonna leave them till last and get the rest of the detail on because I think they are going to be quite problematic on this so the next thing we need to do we've got an LED and we need to put a label on the cable so I'm just going to pull a bit of cable out I think when it comes to models you have to do what's right for you building it I'll just move that to one side and if that means sort of deviating sometimes then it means that okay this says L L5 on it okay right so what it's asking us to do next is it wants us to put the LED just into this bit of housing here you see there I am knocking things off now it's saying red wire on the outside black wire on the inside and that holds in that in place but I think it would be better yeah it's gonna be better positioned around like on sideways actually that is better I'm just gonna bend that forward now that's the problem I know I'm gonna have when it comes to doing that like, the hinges because now all that wants to do is to come out and just sort of push it in there no so if in doubt put a dab of glue on I'm not dealing with any optical fibers or anything like that in here so I should be okay I'm just going to hold that in place and how long this video is going to be today but hopefully not too long okay that's just all I've done is put a little spot of glue on there just enough to hold it in place so the next part we've got we've got this part here and that's just gonna sit on just like that okay right so this is now where I'm going to address the hinges so I need to go back up in the instructions and I'll bring the hinges and the pins across okay so there's no hard and fast rule on how they want these to go on basically put the pin through the edge 
Let me just turn that around so I'm seeing it from the instruction side. And basically, they're going to say, if you notice, it's like a boot shape there. That top, that lip needs to be pointing upwards. This is why I didn't want to do the uh, hinge pins when I did. I'd rather get that light done then do the hinge pins. As you can tell, it's not going great. Right. Right, this is going to be fun. So let's think of a, a methodical way of doing this. Uh, right. Um, I'm not gluing, I can't glue them. Ah, oh, nearly had that one on then. Right, I have an idea. Just gonna leave that, that thing to fall off for now. How about if I have the hinge there, I then grab a pin. This is like this is like surgery. But I'm not a surgeon. No. No, that's not going to work either. Hmm. You see, the problem is the pin on the end wants to drop. It wants to drop down, but by dropping down, it's lifting the pin out of place. Actually, maybe if I take this out of my helping hands and then the pins can lie flat. Ah, yes. Right. And they might not drop. Okay, that's the first pin in. <laughs> right, second one to go. I didn't want to cut this or edit this video out in any way because I wanted to see if there was a way I could do it. So anybody, ah, right. Right, so I figured out because I hired that other one. Well, it's not hired because I put a part in. That's now wanting to drop. But I do have an idea on how to get around it. Okay. Uh, where's it gone? No, that were too big. I have got a sprue here that we've just used that could possibly do the job. Oh, stop having shaky hands, Mark. best time to get shaky hands right I do believe that pin is in so let's uh, put this other one in for the last time hopefully but then I think the, now the other ones come out every time this is touched it makes the pin the pins want to fall out
Okay, we'll try it again. <sighs> right, this time I'm going to try and use my tweezers. I should speed this up and put some like comical music on. <laughs> Me trying to put pins in. Come on. Oh, you know. Right, guys, I'm going to have to cut and get these pins in. I really am. I think I'm shaking because I'm recording, so. Let me uh, get this sorted and I'll be right back to you. Right, I think I found the trick to this. I know my little green bit has come out there. I will sort that out after. But as long as these hinges in the centre move, it doesn't matter about the pins actually themselves being glued in. So what I've done is I've put a little pinch there and there at the end of every pin just a tiny tiny pinch of glue put that on and now they're staying in place so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo this and we'll get it all stuck together there always is a way of doing things it's just working out how you do it and what's the best method So in theory, these are going to go nowhere now. I've also got the the thing it's attached to a bit of blue tack. Just so things don't move anywhere. Marry the two bits up and push into place. Apart from that bit coming out, but I'm sure I can quickly Solve that, squeeze that together, and there we have it. And what I'll do, let's get some clamps on it. And the pins are in. That's why, yeah. So if you're doing this, guys, that's the trick to it glue the tips of the pins onto it and they won't come out right okay I'm chuffed with that really I'm chuffed that's uh, worked now it's got a couple of clamps just keeping it there for a few uh, seconds and we'll carry on I'll take that clamp off that clamp off we'll get this little green bit back on and there we have it you know that sometimes it's the simplest of solutions and just working it out how you go about it right so i'm going to get this green detail back on find my tweezers doesn't want to stay, stay on my tweezers but it will do because I'm absolutely in a chuffed mood that I work that one out so I'm just going to leave it there for a few seconds could have a problem here because I am gluing on top of glue so I'll just hold it there and if so I'll just have to sand it back off stream yeah 
think I'm going on top of glue here. Right, I'll sand that down off stream and move over to the next part. So what I need to do now, I need to bring the aircraft down and we're going to put this on the aircraft. Okay, I do have the aircraft to the left of me at the moment, but what it is, is I forgot to put a piece in here. So I've kind of skipped a step. Now that little green piece, I said I would be putting on after camera, I decided, oh, I'll just try and do it now quickly. And I picked it with the tweezers and it went flying across the room somewhere. I don't know where it is, so hopefully it will show up um, later and I can put it on. Okay, and that's that piece in play. Now this is where the fun begins. <laughs> we need to bring the aircraft just across. In fact, that would be better. Just reposition slightly. And I'll show you on the side camera. I've got trapped wire though, that doesn't help. Okay, so, ah, there we go, that's going to be so much easier. Right, so, what we need to do now is we need to attach the rudder to the Spitfire. And how we're going to do that, we've got some slits just here and here. And all we're going to do is, more or less, if I can, hook it on. But while that's there, that top one, I'm going to put a clamp just to keep the top in place. No, nope, that didn't work. I thought I had a brilliant idea then of doing that, but no. Right, we'll just line up the bottom to get that in place. Right, I know you can't see much at the moment. The next bit we've got, get these tabs. We need to lock it in place. Now oh, that bottom one's come out. I'm going to deal with the top one first. So we're going to lock it in place and we're just going to simply Bob, a tab on. Try and line it up. Right, that's nicely lined up, and then we need to screw it in. And this is with PM two times four millimeter screws. I thought it was all good then, got the screwdriver on and what happens? It decides to slip out of place. I believe I've got that started. Yes, I have. Right, that can just dangle there for a second while I get the other one on. I'm hoping I find that little bit that went flying across the room, but it could be. Well, she could be lost for years. Okay, and that's that one in place. And we're just going to do the same with the bottom one. So I'm going to have a screw ready. Get. Uh, get a screw ready with screwdriver first, Mark. Do to think how long this video is going to be? Well, it was warm to me. It was a 
you know, not a great issue, so I'll give myself plenty of time to do this uh, issue. Back again to a better position. Where are it coming out? Tell you one, these this is a weird way of doing things. Really is strange. Right. Ah. I'll be dreaming of these things tonight. Ah, off my screwdriver and all. You know what? I'm not going to be defeated. I'm going to get this in any which. Right. Oh. Oh. All right, that's the first one in and tightened. Tell you, I am not going to be defeated by hinges. So there. I am determined to win the battle. Right, actually, I think that hinges just pop. Probably just popped it out, which it has. So let's get it, try and get it back in without having to take the screws out. Come on, come on, behave. Come on. No. Right. Right, I do believe it's in. This it is because I can see it from the other side. Right, that should lock it so it doesn't come out. <sighs> Deciding not to want to play a ball. Right, it's going in. And then once and for all, we'll have this issue done. Tighten up that last screw. Don't know why I've got shaky hands. Done. The issue is done. So there we have a complete rudder. And if I go behind, I'll go get my battery box and we'll test the LED before we go anywhere. So I'll move that cross close to the side camera so we'll be able to see this when it's lit up. So. really pleased I worked out the way of doing it and yeah that's issue 70 complete well that is it for Spitfire Thursdays guys and thank you for tuning in on this one I'm really proud of myself that I managed to get this one done yes it was infamous like a lot of people have said yes it was difficult but I'm so pleased I've got to the end of it and you've shared this journey of this issue with me because that was a very difficult thing to do and I know I'm going to get more 
of them issues because I'm doing the Bismarck and everything so yeah it's uh, it's nice to test your skills I'm really happy that it's done I'm really really chuffed with myself I mean you know and I actually did enjoy it because I love the issues you can actually get your teeth into anyway if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos but as for always guys stay safe and bye for now